Hey everybody, Ice Drake here, and welcome to Champions Online. This is a uh, superhero MMO, a massive multiplayer online game. And today we're going to be creating a new character and walking them through the tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoy. What we've got right now, we're creating our character, we get to choose our archetype, which is like picking a class in any other MMO. Um, you've got free form here, which means that uh, if you have this unlocked, which you can do either by, you can buy a freeform character slot, or if you've subscribed and gotten a character to maximum level, you get a freeform character slot. Uh, or if you have just subscribed to the game in general, you get all of your characters can be freeform. Basically, this means that you can mix and match your starting powers and things like this to really make a sort of unique character that can fill a variety of roles uh, instead of pigeonholing them into one which uh, the rest of these archetypes, like the Reawakened, uh, you get this archetype by getting a character to maximum level. Um, this is a sort of a ranged blaster character who also has some uh, uh, some control abilities and some, some uh, really just like a lot, a lot of ranged damage with them. They're a lot like the power suit, which we'll, you'll probably see here in a minute. Uh, these are your ranged classes. I'm not going to read all the uh, sidebar stuff on all these, but I'll make sure to scroll over each of them so that you can pause the video and look at them at uh, sort of at your leisure. But these are all of your ranged attackers. Um, basically, you know, they're like... Um, they deal damage over time. They, they do like... Uh, well, not damage over time necessarily, but like DPS to enemies, damage per second to uh, help bring down enemies quicker. Melee is the same, but with, well, with, with close-ranged attacks instead of, instead of long-ranged. Uh, and these are all of them. Now, you'll notice that a lot of these boxes are grayed out, uh, and they have that little Z token in the corner of them. What that means is that they are hidden behind a paywall, okay? Basically, if you're subscribing, you have access to all the archetypes, or you can buy them from their online store. This game has gone free-to-play, and they have gotten, um, basically, uh, a, a lot of stuff is like microtransactions now, uh, in a lot of online games, and this one is no exception. That's the, that's the, uh, power suit that I was talking about earlier. Uh, but anyway, okay, so, and then the hybrid rolls, they can do damage at either range or melee, alright? Uh, so anyway, like, I don't actually, like, the archetypes are pretty good. If you're just playing free-to-play, you'll have a few of these unlocked to start with. I don't really care for them. I mean, they've all got their place and everything, and you can absolutely play the whole game with one of them and have a great time. But it's really difficult um, for me to just be pigeonholed into a role like that, especially after having played Freeform. These are the support classes. The Radiant is a healer. Uh, you've got the Mind, who is a uh, sort of a crowd controller. And then you've got the Inventor, who summons all sorts of, like, support drones and exploding teddy bears and crazy toy stuff like that. So those are all a little bit different. That's why I actually, you know, sort of talked about them a little more than I did any of these others. Simply because support covers a variety of things here. But for our purposes, we're going to be creating a freeform character. Uh, just because I like to have a little bit of flexibility. I am going to make him a tank. He's going to be a super strength and uh, invulnerability tank. So just kind of your standard uh, super guy, all right? So these are your energy builders, these are your, uh, basically, uh, these are your primary attacks, okay? What these do is they build up energy for you to use your other abilities with, and there's just a metric ton of them, as you can see. I'm going to go with Clobber, which is the standard super strength energy builder, okay? Has a chance to disorient the target, which is nice, okay? And then this is going to be your first basic power. I'm going to choose this one for the tutorial, but I'm not going to keep it. Um, simply because there are other super strength um, primary attacks that I like better. But Beatdown is the standard uh, one that you can choose now. And it's just a series of punches that can stagger your targets. Um, but it's a, little too, um, it's a little too flailing with the animation for me. Okay, I, I like the uh, defensive combo better. 
I like the animation better, and it gives you more defense as you continue to use it, which is nice if you're tanking. So this is your innate characteristic. These are basically going to be like your uh, your abilities, your stats. If you've played any other like RPGs or anything like this, you have Constitution, Endurance, Strength, etc. Um, and I guess, well, I could click on each one of these and kind of show you what they do, but I mean, for our purposes, we're just going to go with Superhuman. That's going to give us 12 Constitution and 12 Strength and 5 and everything else. It's going to make him really strong, really, really tough. Um, not super, like, spread out amongst his abilities. I mean, you could get into things down here like, um, like the Master would be a good choice because you get extra dexterity and recovery. But, I mean, he's basically just going to be a guy that punches things. Uh, let's see. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. And then we will get to choose our costume. Now, honestly, I could be in the costume creator forever. I could. However, to save you guys a little time and to get us into the tutorial and get everything rolling on this, I have chosen to, you can actually save costumes. I have got a metric ton of them because I've been playing this game for a long time. But I've already gone ahead and set him one up. We're going to load this, and there we go. Okay, so a uh, standard semi-patriotic civilian guy. That's what I went for with this. And we are going to name him U.S. Steel. Okay, he's actually... Uh, I've taken some inspiration from one of my favorite uh, comic book heroes. So we're just going to... We're going to go ahead and say, I'm done, take me to the tutorial. I could create a story here. I might do that later. You, you've got the option to in his profile. So let's get into the tutorial. Now, they've changed the tutorial up. It's a computer simulation now. Press w to move forward. Press A to move left. Press okay. I don't actually need the tutorial boxes because, as you can see, I've... I've been, uh, I've been doing this for a while. I'm just going to clean up my inventory here a little bit just real quick and then uh, basically like I said I've, I've played the heck out of this game I've, I've subscribed to it for a long time I had a lot of things uh, given to me for like veteran rewards and things like that so all right uh, now let's get into the actual nitty-gritty of this um, basically I'm not going to I'm not gonna be looking at all of these uh, if you want to pause and read them you can but I don't, I don't need them. You. It's basically it's just showing me how to use the game. To meet new heroes like yourself. Defender from the Champions told me you'd be a good candidate to help with our new training program. Let's get okay. started, shall we? So, yeah, you, and you'll notice that too. Like, they actually have some uh, pretty limited voice acting in the, uh, in the game. It. But again, I'm not going to read all of that because I've, I've done it before. Basically, this is Ravenwood Academy. And uh, it's a place where, like, new heroes are, are trained. This is Plato. She's one of the... Uh, she's one of the computer program trainer people, okay? You've got Plato and Socrates, haha, uh, who will be talking to you off and on throughout the game. So, here we go. We're going to enter the simulation. This is taking us to the Qlar invasion. Uh, you can read the loading screen if you want to. Connection complete. Attention! Calling all heroes! This is Defender with a Priority One alert. Millennium City is under attack. I repeat, Millennium City is under attack by a hostile extraterrestrial force, the QR. I'm directing police and Primus troops to fallback positions, but they are outnumbered and outgunned. They won't last long against the advanced alien technology of the QLAR. We need reinforcements fast. I'm reading several new distress signals from the MCPD and EMS units in the south sector of downtown. All available heroes rendezvous with Sergeant McAvoy's team immediately. Help him secure the mayor and any nearby civilians. I repeat, all available heroes rendezvous with Sergeant McAvoy at the following coordinates. Downloading coordinates now. Once we have the civilians out of harm's way, we'll regroup at Champions HQ and take the fight back to the QLAR. Good luck, heroes. Defender out. All right, and that brings us into the tutorial. So basically, yeah, the QLAR invasion was this big event where 
um, these insectile aliens You're called right, the Hular basically Roger. invaded Earth and destroyed Millennium City, or a large Any part of Millennium City. So this is a computer simulation to sort of put you into that uh, that time frame, okay? Uh, now this is actually... Um, yeah, there's a lot of tutorials popping up, but that's okay. Uh, basically, we're just going to punch these hive pods, and it's a pretty standard MMO, guys. I mean, you're going to have quests to go out and, you know, kill or, or beat up ten thugs or what have you, and then return to your quest giver. And these are all other players, as you probably have already figured out. So, uh, hi guys, if you're watching the YouTube video, you're sort of, uh, you know, you're on camera, so... Excellent there you work. go. Glad you're here. Thank you again. All right. Glad so you're here. now we're going to go talk to the mayor. Uh, and like I said, I'm, I've, I've done the tutorial uh, a few times, um, even after this new update and everything. Well, it's not a new update anymore, but I mean, uh, when I first started playing the game, you were actually in the Qlar invasion. And uh, now it's just they say that it's a training simulation. And it's a little bit faster than it was, honestly. It used to, it used to take a, a fair fair piece of your time just doing all this and learning how to play the game and stuff like that so I guess this guy just okay he's gonna attack them that's fine um, and there are basically this is a uh, the quest that we're on now there's a couple of information terminals I need to get there's some emergency plans and things that the mayor needed so we're just gonna interact with these two shiny objects and we're going to beat up this guy because he's going to aggro us. Basically, if you've played MMOs, you probably know some of the terms that I'll be using. But aggro is basically like when you when you aggravate or, uh, or agitate a, a, a mob by getting too close to them. And mobs are basically any, you know, enemy that you happen to run across in-game. Okay, so we got those. And uh, basically, my character is going to be a, a tank, which is one of the roles that you can, can take on. Um, tanks basically are there to like absorb a lot of damage from from enemies so that their teammates don't okay so that's basically what he's gonna be doing when we actually get out into the city and start uh, start being able to do some extended missions where we'll have allies and things like that uh, that will be coming with us okay so we've leveled up now the first few levels I think up to level level 5 or so. You don't actually get anything for leveling up to them. Uh, and it might even be level 6, I think. Yeah, it's level 6. Basically, is when we will get our next power and our travel power as well. So we won't really get any... Um, we won't really get any of that while we're in here in the tutorial. Hey, guy. You've chosen to get a beating today. Great. Well, let me deliver it for you. There you go. Alright. Anyway, so... Um, where was I? Yeah, anyway, so... Basically, that's that's one of the main roles that you can have, um, and every just about every team that you're in for like alerts and things like that is going to need a tank. You're going to be in pretty high demand. Alerts are basically their version of like if you played World of Warcraft or any games like that, like the dungeon system that they have now, where you can basically just get a pickup group and uh, go into various like. Scenarios where you have to fight a bunch of uh, a bunch of hostile uh, like robots or, or soldiers or whatever, really and then you I fight a boss at the end. I'm really worried. I might miss my flight. Uh, and then then you can you, uh, you know you, you team up with plane? basically like you can get random people to join you, and then you just go and you beat them up and have a good time of it. Uh, so basically, there's tanks, you know, and you'll have your your blasters, your ranged attackers, your melee attackers. All that kind of thing. So basically what we're doing right now is we've got some civilians who are being hassled by the QLAR. We're going to go beat up the drones. We're going to save the civilians. And we're going to retrieve some stolen medical supplies. Okay, that's, yeah, okay. Press F, yeah, I know. All right. Uh, so basically, like, yeah, I, I really love this game. I mean, it's kind of... The community's kind of died off a little bit as it's gone free-to-play. And it's been out for, I guess, around uh, ooh, almost a decade, I think, if not if not a full decade by now. Um, so, I mean, it is a little bit older. It's not, like, it's not super old. I mean, the graphics are still pretty good. The gameplay is good. I like it. It's got some similarities to things like uh, DC Universe Online and things like that. Uh, in that, like, okay, I like DCU online. Don't get me wrong. 
But the thing about it is, like, you're stuck in the DC Comics universe. And I love DC Comics. But I, I also like the ability to... This guy's a little tougher. It's going to take me a second with him. I like the ability to be a custom hero in a, I guess, less well-known setting. Champions was actually a tabletop role-playing game uh, for a long time. We're going to save Foxbat. He's sort of their Deadpool meets Batman character. He's going to give us a little quest, and I'm just going to take it real quick. Uh, he's a little bit insane. Anyway, so... Um, yeah, it was it was a, it was a tabletop RPG for a long time. So I mean, it, they've got their own setting and their own history and everything. And I know I know a lot of it, not a, not everything. But you get more like customization and things here. Like if you play DCU online, DCU does a lot of things right. It really does. But when you create a character, you pretty much know like, okay, I'm clearly Batman, but not Batman. You know, it's like, and uh, I'm clearly Superman, but not Superman. That kind of thing. And you even have them as your mentor or whatever, and so it's like you're constantly interacting with somebody who you're not necessarily a carbon copy of, but you're pretty close to the, you know, the, to the original. So, and the fighting styles are very limited and everything on there. I will give them credit, though. The super speed power for them is the best handling of super speed that I have seen I'm really I'm in an online game. Canada. And that includes City of Heroes, big? which I love and miss dearly every day. If you ever played City of Heroes, it was a fantastic game. I, I just, you know, I can't say enough good things about it. It had its faults. You know, I don't, I don't just view it through the rose-colored glasses of nostalgia. But, uh-oh, uh the server's not responding. We've got a little lag anyway, so I may actually have to restart. I hope not. That would be terrible. Uh, I don't just view it through the rose-colored glasses of nostalgia. Basically, did I lose internet connection or something? No, I'm still good. Disconnected from server. Well, crud. Ha! <laughs> uh, anyway, so... Yeah, you've got... Um, like I said, I mean, it, it's the best handling of super speed that I've seen in an online game. You could you could run across water and up walls and across ceilings if you were going fast enough, you know. And you can't really do that with super speed on here. Uh, which, I mean, I'm probably not going to take super speed with him because I don't know that it fits his character. But I might. Uh, I don't know. It's going to depend. My actually... Um, if you subscribe to the game, you get a lot of the travel powers unlocked for you. And like I said, a lot of stuff now that it's gone free to play is is sort of hidden behind the paywall. Uh, and you have like microtransactions for a lot of stuff. Like you can buy the powers individually, stuff like that. But uh, there's also like there's a lot of the free ones that are just you know just as good. Like I said, you can you can play the game absolutely for free and have have a have a good time and feel like you've played the entire game. And even make, you know, all sorts of other characters and things like that uh, in addition. So, but, uh, yeah, no, I, I really do. I, I think this game has held up pretty well. The only issue that a lot of people seem to have with it is that there's not, like, a lot of new content dropping all the time. It seems to mainly be, like, uh-oh. I think they're having some server issues today. This was probably not the... Uh, I don't know, maybe it is. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Uh, anyway, so... Blah, 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 where was I again? Wow. Can I not scan this thing? There we go. Okay. Alright. We got it? We get... I'm waiting on this. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, there hasn't been like a lot of new content drop as far as missions and things like that. You've had... Um, You've had, like, a lot of costume sets drop that you can buy. You've had a couple of power sets drop that you can buy. But other than that, there hasn't been, like, a lot of love for, like, mission content and things like that. They've added the, uh, what did they call it? The, uh, nemesis system or something like that, where basically you can play as villains, but you're their villains. There's, like, three of them that you can be... And so, like, I don't, I don't care for all that. 
I mean, like, I get a little bit into PvP in some games, but I, I don't know. I mean, it's like... Again, that's the same. This is the same problem that I have with DC Universe Online. It's like if I if I want to make a villain, I want to make my own. You know, I want to uh, I want to be one that's like unique. And I will. Uh oh, I think we may have uh, have another server hiccup. Maybe not. Okay. Yep. There it goes. They're definitely having some server issues today, guys. I'm sorry about that. Not much to be done for it. Uh, I may have to log in again. Who knows? Yep. There we go. Well, this is uh, this is hardly ostentatious, guys. I promise that this is not a common occurrence. It's not an uncommon occurrence, but it, I mean, it, it can happen in any of these games. But at least when they're having server hiccups, it doesn't just like take the whole thing down and you have to restart the game and like that. So anyway, uh, yeah, where was I again? Okay, so oh villains yes right so yeah I don't, I don't I don't really go in for all that but I mean there's still plenty of missions and things that you can do and you can absolutely there's plenty of content and a, and a diverse array of content too that you can play right up until uh, maximum level and there's actually um, I'll, I'll show you here in a little bit there's branching paths that you can take uh, now this is actually we're in a uh, sort of an all uh, an area mission where various heroes work together to stop some type of threat. You'll see the team up button down here, Battle of the Ironclad, defeat Qlar invaders. Uh, basically me and all these other guys that are over here are fighting the Qlar and we're trying to take down uh, as many of, of them as we can and stop them from destroying this big gun that's behind me so that we can fire uh, Ironclad, who is this big metal alien guy, at, the, uh, at their mothership, which is up there. Ironclad is one of the champions. They're sort of like the JLA or Avengers or whatever of this world. So now we need to collect these cannon parts. Uh, and basically that's him over there. You can kind of maybe get a better look at him real quick. It's just big, big metal alien gladiator guy. Uh, and he's going to fire himself in a, uh, in a shell at the Qlar mothership here in a minute. So we'll get to see that. Now we just have to defend this for a minute. And, uh, oh, actually, I wanted to show you guys that as well. So, uh, as a super strength character, I'm not going to have a lot of ranged attacks. However, you can actually pick up objects in the environment if you're strong enough and then throw them at people. Like so. Uh, and I'll be able to pick up a lot, uh, a lot more things as I get stronger. You'll get stronger as you level up. That didn't really work out, but that's okay. We're just going to beat this guy up. Uh, anyway, so yeah, as, as he gets stronger and levels up, I'll be able to pick up cars and trucks and semis and all sorts of big things to hit people with. So, uh, And the heavier the object, the more damage that your target takes. So we've got like 14 seconds left there. Uh, we're almost done with this particular part. And then we're going to go into Champions HQ, team up with Defender, who is their uh, sort of Iron Man character. Uh, he's a power suit, basically. And so we'll go in with him and uh, take out, uh, who's the villain? I think Black Talon, who is this, um, well, he's basically Ironmonger. He's got a big, big mechanical suit and uh, shoots, you know, uh, energy beams and stuff. And uh, he's, he's big, so you're going to see him here in just a minute. Uh, and you actually, when you do the team-up thing, you get, like, you know, who had the most points and whatnot down there. I didn't do too well with that, but I got there after that guy, so I don't feel too bad about it. And I, honestly, I could have gotten more points, but it wouldn't really matter. I like looking at other people's characters, so I'm just going to martial law. That's actually not a, not a bad look, guy. You've got kind of that special forces thing going on, I guess. So this completed? is Witchcraft. Great. Um, she's sort of their Scarlet Witch in. character. Uh, she'll be... She'll be around as well over the course of the game. You're going to absolutely see more of these characters if I keep this series going, and I probably will. Um, they show up for various missions and things like that, and uh, you'll definitely you'll see them you'll see them more as I progress. Uh, in fact, she's got a pretty good uh, mission about uh, well, uh, no 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 spoilers no spoilers. So these are basically. Um, these trooper bots and things belong to Doctor Destroyer, who is one of their uh, one of their main villains. In fact, he's probably the main antagonist of the entire Champions universe. He's he's a pretty bad dude. 
Uh, Victor Von Doom meets uh, every other megalomaniacal time. villain in any comic book universe. He's uh, he's a bad man. So anyway, you're going to see Defender up there in just a minute. Those guys are fighting him through the door. Uh, you'll see his energy blasts hitting them from time to time. There he is, Defender! Hey, guy, how's it going? You are, uh, you are the man or something, so I've been told. I'm actually hurting pretty bad. I didn't realize I was, uh, I've been so busy talking that I hadn't noticed. But there he is. Hey, guy. Oh, I have to go out here to talk to you. Is that what's going down? Okay. Over here. Hi. We don't have much Black time. Talent in his okay, so let's go get Black Talon. Let's do this. I'll tank him and you shoot him or something. Uh, and you'll notice, like, it's Black a pretty standard, like, I guess, raid series. boss, uh, if you want to think of it in those terms, if you've if played other MMOs quickly, and things like that. Basically, City. he's going to be doing damage to me, um, and occasionally he's going to call in an orbital strike. You'll see a, a thing pop up on the ground below my feet. And we're going to have to break free of this. That's okay, not a big deal. See that right there? We're going to we're going to get out of that. Because otherwise that would uh I'll hold off that the would hurt like a lot. Come on, guy. You're going to have to it's embarrassing for you. All right. We're going to he's almost down and there we go. Okay, we're going to take out the rest of these guys and we have to stop his beacons that are bringing the rest of the QR here. And then we're going to fire Ironclad at the ship here in just a second. Just as soon as I actually manage to do the damage that Defender can't. There he goes. All right. Sorry I was talking bad about you, but you know, great do better. Great today, do better, Defender. Do better. All those beacons. They broadcast a high right. frequency signal which drives One. Them crazy. That's what caused them to attack. All right. And you'll notice I'm getting those little pickups and things during battle. I mean, they give you energy, they give you health, uh, they can increase your defense or your attacks um, for a limited time. And you'll also, over the course of the game, you'll actually pick up gear like uh, armor and things like that, which will increase your stats. Uh, for him, basically anything with constitution, anything with strength, and anything with either intelligence, endurance, or recovery. Uh, we'll all be good. I'm sorry, guys. I've got indigestion. Uh, I'm trying to keep that on the down low, so you didn't hear that from me. But uh, this door leads to the defense control room. Oh. The uh, the reflux is real. <laughs> Not that you guys needed to know that, but uh, if you hear me pausing uh, a lot, that's what it is. So anyway, so this is basically the champions like uh, war room and everything. You can uh, there's actually hideouts in the game that you can have. I've got a couple of them, and I'll probably show those off in a later Watch episode. But uh, you can defense. get things like this, rooms like this for your hideout, and uh, it's it's pretty cool. I I, I I like it. I think it's a system that a lot of uh, superhero games like DCU are frankly missing out on. I think they could have done more with this one, but it's pretty good. All right, here we go. The ironclad defense. Seal the shell. We don't have much time. Ironclad's hypervelocity shell easily penetrated both the shield and the mothership's armor. The destruction of the mothership sent the Kular into confusion. The surviving aliens fled. All right, and that's the end of the tutorial. We're going to turn this in, and then we will be able to go out into the powerhouse. Um, I'm probably actually going to end the episode here after the tutorial. Uh, in the next one, we will go to the powerhouse, we'll train up and everything, and then we'll actually be able to hit the streets and start doing some things for great justice. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you have, please feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're so inclined. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.